Hey girl friends and welcome back to a, another review. Today we are reviewing this unit that you guys saw me try on. This is a Sensational Alexis wig. I was sent this wig over from sisterwigs.com to try it out with you guys, share it with you guys, share my opinions and my honest thoughts on this unit. I'm not being paid for this review. This is a completely honest, just a raw review. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button before we get started. And the first thing we're going to step into is the specs for this wig. Like I said, this wig comes from sisterwigs.com and this is the Sensational Empress Lace Front Edge Two-Way L-Part Wig. This model is Alexis, so her name is Alexis. And I got her in a color number two. She comes in over 11 different colors, everything from your reds to your browns, even some blondes. And all of the colors, if I'm not mistaken, they all come with extremely dark roots to allow you to blend your natural hair with this wig seamlessly. So you're not going completely blonde or completely red or completely brown. It's a nice dark root hinting into the colors towards the ends. This wig is available in one length and one length only. It's pretty long, it's about boob length. As far as security, this wig comes with over five different combs, three large combs and two small combs. So you'll find the large combs along the actual perimeter of the wig. You'll find two in the front, one in the nape, as well as two adjacent bra straps in the nape. And you'll also find two small little combs right along the parting itself because this is a two-way part wig. According to the packaging, this hair can take heat up to 400 degrees, which y'all know how I feel about putting heat on some curly hair. I would not suggest it, but it can take heat up to 400. As far as the parting, this is a two-way L-shaped parting. So with this particular unit, it is hand-tied lace. So you have a lace part here, but you can also cut straight through the lace and create pretty much a U-part type of wig. So option number one, go ahead and just conceal that parting itself and just wear it as a full blown wig. Or you can take the wig off, cut straight through that lace and use the two combs to lay the parting down flat and have leave out, your own leave out to blend with the wig. Now, unless you wanna add some heat to your hair, I wouldn't really recommend cutting it and using it as a youth part wig, but if you don't mind the heat and you want a seamless blend, you can totally cut straight on through that lace and use this as a U part or L part unit. So the wig comes in pretty much a normal little wig bag. You'll find your wig as well as a care card. that tells you everything about your wig, the colors it's available in, how to take care of it, how to wash it, everything like that. And the wig is in there secure with the regular secure tags as well as this little crown thing that's like holding the middle of the wig together. This is an extremely deep side part wig. So it favors the right side of your head as far as the L-shaped part and it curves all the way around. As far as styling for my particular wig, I decided to go ahead and face frame my face. As you guys can see, I pretty much just cut along my face structure cut a few little layers from my bang because this is a side sweat hairstyle I wanted to have a really nice bang that fit my particular face the bang is extremely long so when you get your wig out of the box I highly recommend customizing it to your face after I cut the lace and did some face framing layers I went ahead and brushed the hair out so the hair comes with like normal like loose but like synthetic looking curls they're really really unified and really really shiny looking so I did really like that look I went in with a petal brush and just combed the hair made it really, really frizzy did some little finger detail this unit does tangle as you guys can see me running my hands through it but I just used a petal brush to comb out most of the curls give it a lot more height and body and value and this hair gets extremely big so we can go ahead and get into the pros and cons like I said this is a synthetic unit so there's not really much you can really say as far as pros and cons for a synthetic unit that's only about 20 bucks <laughs> but it is extremely natural looking when you do brush out the curls when you brush them out let them frizz a bit they look a lot more natural I got a lot of compliments on this. I went to Red Lobster and my waitress thought my hair was popping. <laughs> um, it was a really, really hot summer day. It's just super big, like attention grabbing hair. Really, really nice for a, a night out. I love how it looks brushed out and frizzy. It makes it look even more natural. The older it gets, it looks extremely natural. And like I said, this is big, super, super big, go big or go home type of hair. If you do not like big hair or don't like a lot of attention, then this is not the unit for you. This hair gets extremely big and I'm assuming that's why they call it the Empress Lace Front Wig <laughs> because it is like an 
Empress, like you are going to be getting a lot of attention with this hair. As far as my cons, I don't really have too many cons because this is a synthetic unit that's only 20 bucks. It's super cheap and affordable, so I didn't really have high expectations for it. It's nice and big and bouncy has a lot of value in my body to it, especially with my face framing layers in the front, but it does tangle. It is a $20 wig. I was expecting that, but as you guys can see, I cannot get my hands to this hair at all, and I wouldn't even try. But what I do do is like go in a little bit and just try to make the hair a little more poofier or bigger or attempt to get my hands through it, but there's no way my hands is getting through these curls. It will tangle on you. I've already worn it three times I believe and you guys can see it's in this condition now where I can barely get my hands through it but I feel like this is like one day hair or two day hair just something that you want to just you know go all out with your hair for a night or two and not anything to like wear this every single day or make this like your go-to unit because it's not going to last. So as far as my tips and tricks I highly suggest that you put this on a wig mannequin or put it back into your wig box that it came in because this hair will tangle and will shed and go crazy in your house. The shedding on this is not nothing insane. It's like a normal unit. It sheds every now and then. I guess from me like face framing the curls, but other than that, no type of shedding, but tons and tons and tons of tangling. So make sure to take this unit off at night and put it onto a mannequin head or in a wig bag. Brush the curls out to get a more realistic look. Customize this to your face and your liking. Don't be afraid to get in there and cut some layers or whatever you need to to make this unit look more realistic to you. And as far as the price for this unit, now that we're done talking about it, <laughs> this unit sells on sisterwigs.com for only $19.99. It's super, super affordable and cheap. I personally liked it. I personally would not buy this, like I said, for an everyday unit. I would use it for like a photo shoot, something really quick because it's, it's just not gonna last a long, long time. But I did enjoy the unit. I enjoyed, you know, the height and the body with it. But other than that, I probably wouldn't buy this for an everyday wig. So that's what you're looking for. Be sure to check out sisterwigs.com for the unit. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.